Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena. It's time to find the Athena, and get on board, we need to leave this shitty planet. Oh, I suppose I could blow that up, couldn't I? I hope they don't hear. Nah, why would they hear a loud explosion about 50 to 100 feet away? Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Alright, well I know from experience, stealth is not going to work here, but I can at least maintain stealth for a little while. Nope, and stealth is over. Okay. See you in there. Boom. Hmm, apparently these boards are kryptonite to my feet. Come on. There we go. <laughs> His facial expression. Looks like he just ate something sour. Jimmy Greshner wanted for shoplifting and armed robbery. I have no idea why I just opened that. I guess if I need to go back, I can. I also have no idea why I just blew that up. It's like, ooh, it leads to a secret area. Oh, no. That's not a room, it's just a wall. down this rather ominous tunnel. Before I go down there, I want to see what's around here. Alright, well that's probably where I'm supposed to... It probably just leads it. Yeah. It probably just loops around. Let's go in the tunnel first. Yeah, it just loops around. Okay. I guess this is supposed to be a stealth option, but whatever. I have to wonder, did... I mean, if they put this in specifically for stealth... You know, this is the pathway for stealthy players. Did they, did they ever actually play their game and realize that stealth is not at all viable? In most situations, because it's kind of broken? They went so far as to put this in for a stealthy approach, but then they didn't realize that there's, like, no point. Weird. Whoa! What the fuck are you? This would be a challenge. No shit! That sounded like a rocket. That was a rocket. Ah. What the fuck? It's like in the middle of the tunnel. Did, did he shoot a rocket out of his back? 
I'm calling hacks. Okay, if I don't kill this thing, like, right now, I'm so dead. If I even get a little bit of splash damage on me, I'm... I'm dead. I'm toast. Okay, here we go. My bar regenerated. I've got one blip. Oh my god, how many hits does this thing take? Come on. I wonder if it's got like a weak point or something. I mean, it sounds like it's taking damage. Just by the sound of it. Groaning. That made it all the way here? Maybe it like bends around corners or something. That or it just clipped through it. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, either that thing has like a million hit points or there's some sort of a weak point. This might be a repeat of the. This might be a repeat of the. Uh, the suit thing, the suit encounter from the first game. All right. Yeah, maybe I need to hit it in the back or something. I never got to see its back. I suppose I could run through... Yeah, maybe that tunnel's not for stealth. I could run... into the tunnel, go all the way around, come up here... to potentially see its back. Can I jump up here? Yeah, you, yeah, you can. What if I just go behind it? Like, what if I go in where it came from? This would be a challenge. Those are some weird sounding rockets. Alright. If I'm in the dark, I presumably can't see me. Of course, I'm not in the dark right here. I realize that. Okay, okay. Oh, maybe I can do a stealth kill. Yeah! <laughs> There's no way this is gonna work. There's no way. Please don't turn around. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, look at them dance moves. I don't even want to kill you now. Respect. Oh god, I regret doing that. Okay, good. He's going back there. I, I don't see a weak point. I mean... Yeah, I don't see a weak point. Oh, hey, what's this? Cool bounty! 
I can't even read it because everything's shaking. Slinger Remnant wanted for breaking and entering, as well as willful destruction of private property. Oh, you're not allowed to be there. Is there a nanomed thing somewhere? Yeah, here it is. If you stop shooting rockets at me, I could heal myself. Thank you. I don't have a refill, huh? Nope, I don't. Did he just start shooting rockets at wherever the explosion was? Pretty explosions. Yeah, how the hell did that rocket just hit there? That is such bullshit. Yeah, what the fuck? It's like it's phasing through the wall to come into the tunnel. I'm telling you, this guy's hacking. It's a fucking hacker. Well, staying in the dark here seems to work really well. Where'd you go? Yeah, if I, like, shoot, he just seems to start shooting at whoever I was when I happened to shoot him. So if I do that, then I should be able to come up around him. Never mind. This encounter is really stupid. This is just as stupid as that... The damn suit encounter in the first game. Ugh. I mean, what could be going on? He has a million hit points, or there's some sort of a weak point that I don't get, even though it doesn't look like it. I mean, he's got like a... He's got metal bits, and then he's got a fleshy bit around his center. I've been shooting him kind of into center. If there's any weak point, that'd be it. He doesn't have any glowing green thing on his back or whatever. Alternatively, maybe I just go behind him. However, that's really doubtful. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to fucking fight him. It's a boss encounter, right? You don't just sneak behind him. Actually, I could sneak behind him right now. Never mind. God damn it. Fuck, I got stuck on something. I got stuck in a fucking pot. Fuck you, pot. Yeah, this is so dumb. Jesus. Why would you do this game? You were going so well. Then you fucked it all up. It's okay, we'll get through this. If I could just sneak behind him to see what's back there, it's probably nothing. What are you shooting at? What the fuck was that? Don't turn around. Okay. Please still don't turn around.
Risk of explosion. Can I blow these up? Do I blow these up to continue? Do I blow them up to destroy him? Do I need to attract him into here? If I blow them up to blow up the gate, then... I mean, regardless of what I do, if I blow anything up here, he's gonna come. Huh. Okay. I just blew them up, but they didn't explode. He literally shot a fucking rocket, like, out of his back or something. It's ridiculous. I missed. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I mean, it sounds like he's taking damage. So unless the game is completely misleading me with its sound effects, then this is going to kill him. I'm taking too much damage. I missed. Yeah, I'm gonna die again. Come on. Oh, yep. That that one just like exploded in the wall or something. <sighs> There's not a lot of options here. Either the game is misleading me and even though he's making the sounds as if he's getting hurt, he's actually not. Or he just has a million hit points. The things fucking marked explosive don't blow up when I blow them up. So that those don't help. This is so stupid. Is there anywhere I can climb up? No. Is there something I can, like, make fall on his head? Here. The AC! Hit him in the head! Actually, it's taller than the AC. Never mind. <sighs> okay, what... What if I just get really fucking far away from him? He won't leave this area, right? And he often stands here. What if I just, like, go all the way over there? Can I just shoot him infinitely? I don't mind cheesing this victory, because this, this encounter is really terrible. I'll use any exploit I can to get past this. this would be a challenge. Yeah, let me try to attract him into here. Look, he won't come up here, will he? No. I'm just killing myself because I've already lost some health unnecessarily. Let me just get up close to him again, just see if there's any weak point I'm missing. This will be a challenge. 
Okay. Um, running around him in a circle it seems to be working. Would you just fucking die? Is he indestructible? Like, is he just fucking indestructible? What is this? Well, this is exciting. Can blow off his hand? Nope. Blow off his ass. Alright, this encounter is just fucking dumb. What the hell? He's indestructible. <laughs> He's fucking indestructible. Can't blow up his arm. Can't blow up his chest, which is just flesh. His chest is all fleshy, everything else is kind of roll body. Can't blow up his arms, can't blow up his chest. Can't blow up the explosives back there. What the fuck? What the fuck? I've been here for like almost a half hour already. What the hell? Alright, see if I can get up here and just cheese up. Cheese some explosives on him. That's a weird term. I'm cheesing explosives, but yes, that's what I'm trying to do. I mean, I'm not sure what the point would be because I already. Like blew him up, blew him up about fifty times. There we go. I don't think he can reach me. Are you dead yet? He doesn't die. The game is telling me that he's taking damage because it's, it's giving him a hurt sound, but it's a fucking lie. He doesn't take damage. Do I have to make something fall on his head? And if so, then what? Can I jump up here? No. Nope, nope, nope. 
Does it involve those explosives? The ones that don't seem to explode? I'll blow up his leg. What the fuck? I kind of did look up a goddamn walkthrough for this. Right, looking for things that explode. I don't care about my life anymore, I mean... What have I invested? A hundred shots into him? It doesn't even matter. He doesn't take damage. What's the point? Just to... Reiterate, these do not explode. No. The ones that say... Risk of explosion do not explode. We're going with the ULAC approach. I've established I can stay near him and be perfectly fine. This will be a challenge. <laughs> it's not gonna do shit. I'm just trying to slice his ass and it's not even doing anything. What the fuck? This is like a repeat of that... ...suit... ...mech encounter from the first game, except ten times worse. Dear God. I guess I'm looking up a walkthrough. Alright, I looked up the solution. First, I'm going to execute the solution. And then we're going to sit down and we're going to have a chat. We're going to have a chat. We're going to talk about it. Over some tea. But first, let's do it. <sighs> this will be a challenge. It doesn't involve the environment, by the way. Nope. I'm just getting to an easy spot to uh, hit him from. Alright, come over here. Okay, maybe this isn't an easy spot to hit him. Yeah, right, that doesn't work. some reason they're a source of infinite grenades and I kind of just blew myself up so let's talk about what just happened the solution to killing him 
is... Not to shoot one of these. Not to shoot two of these. Not to shoot three. Not to shoot four. The solution is to shoot five of them on him at the same time. And blow them all up at the same time. Then that triggers the I'm tired and hurt animation. And then you can jump on his back and slice him up. Let, let's, let's talk about that, shall we? Let's talk about that, yeah. From a design standpoint, let's talk about what's wrong with that. Okay, problem number one. Uh, the game was lying to me. Through the sound effects. The sound effects were suggesting that he was getting hurt every time I blew up a couple on him. I'd blow a bunch up. Sometimes three at a time. And he'd make a hurt sound. But he wouldn't do anything. Other than make a hurt sound. A hurt sound is feedback from the enemy telling me that he's getting hurt. In reality, he wasn't. It did nothing. It did nothing at all. So, that's not good. I don't like it when the game design lies to me. It's fucking stupid. So, you can... As you can see, from what I did before, you can literally blow up... What was it? Like, 50 plus mines on him? And they do absolutely nothing. Except... Sometimes, if you bloop like three, I think it maybe stunned him for a second. And they do absolutely nothing. You have to blow up five at the same time. Why would you do that? Why not just make it so that if you keep blowing him up with single shots, he eventually does the same thing? Why does it have to be five at a time? That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. He falls to the ground when he's blown up by five mines at the same time but he can handle 50 explosives spaced a couple minutes apart? What, is he regenerating the damage in a quarter of a second? Bullshit. That makes no sense. 50 plus fucking mines, or not mines, whatever, 50 plus fucking explosives on him. And it does nothing. But five at the same time makes him fall down to the ground. That does not make any sense. Ah, that, that was terrible. That was fucking terrible. Use the Alpha Drone's grenades to blow up the explosive canister by the gate. Oh. Thank God I'm through that shit. Okay. On to greener pastures. By the way, there's more Alpha Drones. <laughs> but they should be easier to fight after that one. I'm just pissed off now. Fuck stealth. I'm gonna blow shit up. Bring it on. Motherfuckers. Come on. Just kill me. No afterlife gonna take a pussy like you. Blows up at his feet and doesn't do anything. I think it has to be on him, basically. Here's the map. You are... Here. said that. There's like no one here. But well, there you are. You don't scare me.
Yeah, I'll take the assault rifle over that other gun. It seemed cool at first, but now it just annoys me. Can I jump in the water? The only way out. With it. Back to the ashes. Back to the Athena. Okay. Apparently, Riddick can be felled by knee high water. Okay. That was a suspiciously glowy button. Oh god. Not this shit again. Video link? Huh. I have to be honest, I was not paying attention to anything he just said. I have no idea what he wants me to do. Oh, find and destroy five signal jammers spread across the Aguaran Islands so that he can call for help. I'm sorry, I don't know if I care right now. I'm too annoyed by these stupid alpha drone pieces of shit. Mark the one for the beating of the scenes. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. There's no med bay in here? Damn. Harsh. Wait, how do I even get over there? Hold on, hold on. How the. Okay. Okay, okay, there we go. I was going to start trying to blow him up, but I realized if I can't actually get over to him to take him down, it's going to be a waste. Here we go. Okay.
What? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I threw the grenade as soon as I actually could. I was mashing the click button and it killed me in midair. What? The fuck? You need to take out the five flashing beacons located across the islands. Please. Alright, gotcha. Dear God. If I can get near him, I can shoot him up, no problem. It's the getting near him part that's hard. You know, I used to remember a time when this game was fun to play. That time was... about an hour ago. Everything from before this entire section with these drones. These alpha drones. It was nice. And this is not. Alright, let's attract him over to this side. I'm gonna have to blow this up anyway. Here we go. Okay, and I'm not picking up your fucking grenades. Question is, though, what's the point of killing him? I mean, surely I need his grenades or I can't continue, otherwise I could just avoid him, right? So, I obviously need them for something, right? Maybe not. Eh, yeah, maybe don't. Or maybe you do? Uh. Oh, that was wood. I have to blow these up. Wait, 
if I just blow blew those up, then this thing's not gonna stay at the top, is it? I guess I just retracted them, I suppose. Mm, that is one hardy elevator, my god. Old Town. Better than New Town. Actually, no, it'd be worse than Old Town. Or, wait, no, I'm confusing. What? Forget it. Secrets. Secrets. Se ah, yeah, secrets. This city's a ghost town. Built on fear and empty promises. My kind of place. Bender wanted for attempted genocide on the planet Alku. Create I unlock the extra content, Alpha Drone. Just what I want. More Alpha Drone. Alright. I know everybody's waiting for me. It's like a surprise birthday party. You can come out now. I know you're here. Where the hell does this go? Oh. Well, that was disappointing. Come on, start shooting me. Hello? Arena. Eh. I could press it with my hand, or I could do this. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where's the... Oh, there's the healing thing. Let me guess, battle drone. Come on. <laughs> Another survivor? Let's have some fun with this one. It's no use! <laughs> <laughs> yep, come on, battle drone. Oh, that's not a battle drone. Alpha drone? Of course. Actually, I'm glad it's close quarters.
shit! He just just... Who the hell is shooting at me? In the mood to die? No, I'm not. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to get on top of this thing, aren't I? Yep. Son of a bitch. Another survivor? Let's have some fun with this one. You already said that. transmitter up here by the way was it it kind of seemed like it was like I see some transmittery things what about this that's just a lamppost but whatever and that and that and you. All right, none of that worked. Oh, God. Sounds like an infinite missile. What is it doing? Spinning around in a circle? Uh. Okay. What is happening? They're everywhere! Where did he go? Zinto Rager wanted for extortion, murder, and shooting a public comm station. Hello? Oh, there you are. Oh, 
crap! Damn it, I got stuck going to the right because he's up against that thing. Wait, I can't break it from the side? Are you kidding me? Okay. The wood is indestructible from that side because they decided it should be. Those things are also indestructible until they've settled into their place. Perhaps this? Yes! Croucher Yulong, one of her attacking pedestrians with a box cutting knife, five counts of assault with a deadly weapon. Refinery. Should be able to reach the Athena through here. Excellent. Favirovag Atmoth Vilacrable. Those are some sexy wires, or tubes, or whatever they are. I think No, I think they're wires. Beautiful. It's like that mesh sort of look. It's cool. Anyway, well, this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, yeah, in the last hour, this game has taken a turn for the worse. It's become very annoying. This gun is just annoying to use. Because the enemies tend to jerk around all over the place, and if you don't actually get it directly on them, it doesn't do anything. And there's a very long period between shooting. So it usually involves missing and then standing out in the open and taking shots. Turns out it's not very fun to use. And those alpha drones are just obnoxious. Which is a shame, because the rest of the game was going so well. I don't know. We'll see, hopefully it changes around or something. I know it's not a very long game, I'm actually pretty close to the end of it, so... Even if it continues poorly, it shouldn't be painful for, for very long. I'm really sad over how crappy the combat's gotten. It was so fun before, and now it's just annoying me. Oh well, well, we'll see how the rest of the game is. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.